is a Zenith data system. Zenote Flex. It's an impeccable shape, and the battery even still has a charge. So in this video, we're going to be checking it out. So first off, around the front, we have a 3.5 inch, 1.44 meg floppy drive. The battery, which holds a charge still, as mentioned. Around the bottom, this is the hard drive. This is the CPU, 486DX2. Um, and this is the RAM. It has 3.8 megabytes of RAM. And if I open it up, this thing's in beautiful shape. It's around 1987, this thing. We're gonna check it out now. Just a moment. So, turning this laptop on, the battery holds a charge as mentioned. It's about a six second charge. So let's plug it in, and we're gonna hit the power button. Indicators light up. This is the battery that's installed. This is the one that is not. Okay, it was showing it was completely full a couple of minutes ago, so it's plugged in. Okay, now it's charging, and it's still showing it's completely dead, which is kind of weird. Floppy disk drive works. Um, the screen has a couple of problems, but right now it is working good. So, yeah, I see it flickered there for a sec. I'm recording with an iPhone 5S. So, it, it runs Prudential Insurance and Financial Services main menu when it boots up. I'm not sure what that is. I don't know how to bypass it or anything. That's pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, there, see, so we have the brightness, it takes a while to warm up, it stays white, that's what the issue is, I don't know why it does that, it's not supposed to. So, first we have slow mode, 46, and fast mode, turbo, basically, on a laptop, which is pretty nice. It doesn't run very hot at all, I don't know why it has to be this thick, it's just old, but really... Like, it's probably just because of the battery that it's that thick, I bet. Like, I don't see any other thing that could possibly make it that thick, other than, like, the big caps. But, that's why I like the laptops that have, like, the thick back and the thin front. I think they're really cool. So, it has an issue with this plastic cover. The adhesive has failed. This little glossy cover for the screen, they failed. So, the previous owner, I got this thing for free, by the way. Previous owner taped it back on, which is nice, at least they didn't lose it, that's better than nothing. Um, so, brightening up the display is quite straightforward, we're gonna brighten it up just for the video. So, if I hit exit to DOS, it brings me to a C prompt, and we can do DIR, but it's a bit too long, so we can do DIR slash W, and hit enter. And it brings us to this menu of files, and if I type in CD, I think it's choose directory, I don't know. Um, I can do CD, and we can see there's a games folder, I added in some games to this computer. That's the bottom. And yes, we do DIR again, I don't think there's enough games in here, but we're going to do slash W just in case. No, there isn't, so we're just going to do DIR. Um, we have Prince of Persia. Commander Keen, 6, and Wolfenstein 3D. So let's play Prince, uh, I don't know how to do that. So let's just do CD Keen. No, what, no. CD dot dot. Brings back to the previous folder. We do CD, choose directory, Wolf 3D. It's in that directory now, so we do DIR. And some files in here, not too long to view on the screen though. Uh, with 3d.exe. We don't have to type in the .exe part, we just have to type in woof 3d. And it says one moment, and now it says press the key, so I pressed the key, I pressed the space, and it brings it right up, and this thing does have a little PC speaker right here, and a microphone as well. Trackball, nice QWERTY style keyboard. Um, it looks like the contrast has fixed itself, which is nice. We're gonna do Can I Play Daddy? And we're gonna play this with one hand. This is gonna be difficult, by the way. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Uh, I need to press space. Try this door. Good, there's nobody in here. That makes me happy. Uh, great DOS gaming laptop overall. Oh god. Got him.
And there is a hidden entrance somewhere in this map. Which I wish I could show you, but I can't seem to find it right now. You can hit space right in front of this little poster here. And what that'll do is, it'll push back. I, I discovered this on my own. There's a whole bunch of weapons and health in here. It's really, really neat. I missed one. Oh, I'm at 100% health, so that's nice. So we get space bar. Oh, there's a guy. Got him. So we're at 98% health. Uh, there's nobody in here. Oh, I died. Okay. Well, that's enough of that. Uh, I don't know what's happening. It's just failing and failing more and more. It's just the screen, though. I can connect the monitor anytime. It'll be fine. But we're just going to shut this thing down for now. And, uh, this thing has Microsoft Word on it as well. So let's CD dot dot, CD dot dot, win, win. And it's going to boot back into Windows 3.11. We'll be able to... Let's give that a sec. And inside the Microsoft Office folder, first off, we have Microsoft PowerPoint. Microsoft Word is the first thing on the list. Which, I mean, this thing was a business laptop. It's slightly business, slightly, uh, just straight up, really, just slightly everything. I, mean, I should try and connect this thing to a modem, right, and, like, print something over the network. That'd be awesome if I could do that. Obviously not in Windows 3.1, but, I mean, somewhere else. That'd be pretty cool. Um... This thing's having some really bad issues. I don't know what's happening. It's infringing my ability to do this video is what it's doing. So we're just gonna lower the brightness. It's still doing the same freaking thing though. Um, the battery is still not completely charged, so let's uh, there's really nothing. Oh, MS DOS editor. This is what I want because this will allow me to. I think at least edit the thing the menu at startup I think so I might just install a clean version of DOS and maybe then add in Windows 3.1 so we're just gonna shut it down and uh, I'm gonna just thank you guys for watching feel free to leave a comment if you have one Peace.